right, so as with many steps in our T51D Mustang build, we have to take one step backward in order to make two steps forward. And uh, what I want to do at this point is get this turtle deck completely done and uh, as a finished piece. So then we can move on to our, all our internal systems and the side skins and we'll be uh, done with that part of the fuselage. And before we do that, we actually need to be able to secure the aft canopy track into place. Now Titan tells you that you have to put the aft canopy track on and then also put some supports underneath that as well to support it uh, and give it a little bit uh, extra strength. This uh, turtle deck is only 0.016 skin, so very thin. It gets rigid when you actually bend it uh, and secure it to the upper bulkheads, uh, but we want to have a little more strength for that aft canopy. Now, the way that the aft canopy uh, track works is you have this material, and I'll show this to you. It's a little stack up that kind of looks like a monorail if you look at it. Um, it's this other this uh, piece down here uh, of uh, nylon, and uh, on top of it is this piece of aluminum. And then you have this carriage that rides on top of that, and I can kind of put it together like that, and the aft canopy actually has a, uh, a guide that just kind of runs along this as you slide it back. Um, now, what we have to do at the forward edge is we have to actually go and put this piece into place, which is a piece here that allows it to come forward and then down because that's the actual mechanics of how the canopy works. It actually comes up in the back and then slides back and follows the uh, turtle deck. But as you bring it forward, if you look at one of these or any of the Mustangs, they come, they come forward and then the back of the canopy pushes down and secures into place. And that's where it actually follows this track and comes down. So we need to mount this and we need to be able to then go and mount this track into place and we need to bend the front edge of it down so that it actually comes forward and then actually bends down and has that securing point into place. All right, so since this material uh, for the uh, track is pretty flexible in terms of like, it's, pre it, it's pretty thin, it's very easy for me to bend, I'm actually uh, going to use my hands to get that to bend into place. And um, so uh, we'll mount up that uh, forward uh, uh, support that allows it to come down and then we'll actually get it mounted into place. Nice, all done. Okay, now that I've got the aluminum bent to the angle that I want it to on the forward edge, I need to get this nylon to want to sit in place. And believe it or not, it's actually a little tougher to bend the nylon than it is to bend the aluminum. So what I've done is I've gone and marked on it where kind of like the uh, apex is of this bend. You can kind of see that little mark. And then I'm just gonna, with a heat gun, just gently put some heat right along that section and actually get this to, to be a little bit more flexible at that point so that I've got what I need the entire length of the piece and see if I can get it to be a little more compliant, not putting so much stress on the piece. So now I've secured this straight part and now I gotta get the uh, nylon to want to move a little bit in here. So let's practice that. For uh, getting this little nylon strip to fit, I have this uh, kind of precision heat gun, which I really like. It's for electronics. It's small and very, very targeted and uh, you can set a digital temperature on it and uh, it'll come right out there and I can just uh, kind of see what I can work with it. So let's take a look. You know, it's, uh, 
just falling right into place. So that was a really, really great success. Just a few passes of it, and it basically just relaxed the piece right into place. It's, it's, it's exactly following what I need it to do, and uh, it didn't melt or anything like that. It just kind of, I could just see it relax and come right in line with the aluminum. And so now I can go back. The uh, gun is just uh, still running because it cools itself down, and um, get this fitted up. And you can see that the rail slides really well and even goes down this curve here um, fairly nicely, which is good because that's what it's going to need to do. All right, that looks like it fits really well. Um, so now I'm going to take it back off and I'm actually going to match drill the holes from the uh, aluminum straight into the uh, nylon and then I can go back on and get the holes drilled into the turtle deck. All right, last step, I just need to trim this little excess piece of nylon off and uh, then I can fit it to the turtle deck. All right, so there we go. Canopy track is in place and now uh, can uh, glue in the sports and finish up everything I need to do with the uh, turtle deck. And uh, you can actually see here the little uh, uh, rider that goes uh, on the canopy track slides nicely. It even goes down uh, this way so the canopy track can go back and then come down and secure into place. Uh, all that is set and uh, excited to have another step in our T51D Mustang project done. Until next time, be sure to check out socialflight.com and the free Social Flight mobile apps. There are tens of thousands of aviation events and destinations, so many cool things to do. We've got online events that you can enjoy from at home, and especially every Tuesday night, our Social Flight Live show. Just go to socialflightlive.com, one word, and you can register for that show with our very, very cool guests. And of course, we're giving away a lot of prizes on Social Flight, so check it out and play our Fly to Win Challenge. Until next time, I'm Jeff Simon from Social Flight. Blue skies.